All right, the journey to juggling starts with one ball. So we're gonna teach you how to go from one ball to two, three, to four, and then further if you're willing to commit. So why juggle? Basically it's a test of mental capacity and willingness to stick at something long enough to see the end result. And it's not that hard if you're willing to put in the time. So starting with one ball, just getting used to creating a U shape and getting used to throwing from both the left and the right hand and creating the same ball path from both hands. Cool, so once you've done about 10 from each side, you feel comfortable, it's time to get the second ball out and give that a crack. So you're gonna go with the right hand, create the U shape. As that ball reaches the apex or the top of the throw, that's when you throw that second ball and try and mimic the same height of that first ball but underneath. So they don't actually cross over, it's one up, and then the second one goes up, so it looks like this. And then you repeat that process, and you try and get 10 throws. What you don't wanna see is that second ball going too low, or worse, passing from hand to hand. So it's you, you, catch. Try and get that same bar path or ball path from each hand. Cool, then when you're ready, you go from the other side, and you go 10 on that side so you get ready. Now. How to introduce that third ball, there's a step in between if you want, and it's called a flash. So you pretend that you've got a third ball in that right hand. So from the right hand, pretend like you've got a second ball there. Up, up, flash. Up, up, flash, pretending that you're throwing. So there's only ever really, there's always one ball in the hand at all times, and then sometimes the balls are crossing over, and it's only really throwing one ball at a time, flash. Cool, so that when you get that third ball, now it's just a case of up, 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 stop. Reset, up, 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 stop. And then when you get the hang of that, you can start to then bring them together. And you're still just throwing one ball up in the air at a time. And before it comes down, you release that ball that's stuck in the hand. So you've always sort of got two balls in the hand, one ball in the air, and that's how you get started with three ball juggling. So give that a crack, see how you go, and I'll be back with a four ball progression next time.